The GOP can't even say the word nuclear, let alone understand what it means. Nuclear, nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon. Here are some examples of GOP idiots and their ignorant comments. Uh, nuclear weaponry. The standard IQ for a current GOP member is about 92. America places 17th in the world with a national average IQ of 98. GOP cultists fall well below the mark. Does that include uh, the possibility of a nuclear strike? Nuclear uh, nuclear weaponry, of course. Of course, pronounced nuclear. Unless you have an inferior IQ. Nuclear weapons? Nuclear weapons. Here are some quotes from a GOP cultist. It has an inadequate IQ, just like Bush and Palin. Here's the actual GOP quote. You lied to me about the U.S. dropping a nuclear bomb on another country. That didn't happen. Here's the actual video of the U.S. dropping nuclear bombs on two Japanese cities, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The United States is the only country in the world to have ever used nuclear weapons offensively. Nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapon. It says nuclear. And the nuclear, this, a nuclear, it's fucking nuclear, you prick! And here's another real GOP quote from the same moron. This one's quite a doozy. Give it up, kid. Atomic bombs and nuclear bombs are not the same. Educate yourself. The individual this moron was talking to actually did know what they were talking about. This moron doesn't. One of the reasons for the video, to educate this bumbling idiot. And then there's this witless remark from the same imbecile who literally is clueless. This person may actually be retarded. IQ levels this low are usually confined to sea life like mollusks. This person probably shouldn't even be using a fork without supervision. Another real GOP quote. This one tries to be sarcastic and puts its head up its rear end once again. Gee, where did this one come from? It also thinks the atomic bomb was nuclear. I think the schools are dropping the ball. Yes, the schools are dropping the ball. And this witless idiot illustrates that with great clarity. There are two types of nuclear bombs. Atom bombs and hydrogen bombs. An atomic bomb derives its explosive force from the release of atomic energy through fission or splitting of heavy nuclei. Hence the term nuclear. Nuclear weapons. A hydrogen bomb derives its energy from the fusion of hydrogen isotopes. Nuclear weapon. Nuclear weapons. We once again feature the real GOP quote from this absolute grapeseed brain. You lied to me about the U.S. dropping a nuclear bomb on another country. That didn't happen. With the exception of this bomb the U.S. dropped on Hiroshima, Japan. Deaths as of December 1945, 140,000. Deaths calculated as of August 1996, 197,045. And this second nuclear bomb dropped by the United States of America onto Nagasaki, Japan. Deaths as of December 1945, 74,000. Nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapon. So, GOP idiots should learn three simple points. One, 
It's pronounced nuclear. Nuclear weapon. Fucking nuclear! Not nuclear! Two, the United States of America is the only country in the world to have used nuclear weapons against a country offensively. And three, there are two types of nuclear bombs. The atom bomb and the hydrogen bomb. Nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapon. Fucking nuclear! Not nuclear! A nuclear weapon. Nuclear weaponry.